Ariel Hawani in Chicago for UFC on Fox 2 alongside Chael P. Sonnen who faces Michael Bisping this Saturday night live and free on uh, Fox. And uh, Chael, it's good to see you. We just saw you and uh, Michael embrace and you said something that was very interesting. You said that quote unquote they are telling you that there's too much love. Who's they? Oh, the media. Well, I, I'm, I'm at a press conference here. I, 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 almost every media member I, I, I talk to keeps bringing up terms like hype and smack and trash talk, and uh, I hate those terms. I resist them greatly. I don't. I don't like it when the people say it. I feel like that's, uh, uh, you know, some kind of an act or something, and and, and I don't like that. If, if I didn't mean it, I wouldn't say it. Uh, I got every intention to win this fight Saturday, and I will mean. I will do any means necessary to get that done. Uh, but as far as talking about it or, or, or insulting a guy that, that you don't have a problem with, that's just not something I'm interested in. It almost feels like people are expecting this out of you now, like they're putting all this pressure on you. Does that bother you? Have you created this monster that you can't control? Uh, no, I can control it. I do what I want. I don't give in to peer pressure. I never had a drop of alcohol in my life when I went to uh, the University of Oregon. So uh, I do what I want to do, and I don't do what other people want me to do. But, uh, you know, look, as far as building something, uh, I think there's something there. You know, Michael and I got a little bit of a history. We're in the same weight class. And uh, the bottom line is, you know, he thinks he can beat me. I think I can beat him. He wants to fight me. I want to fight him. Uh, well, we can, we can do that. We got a forum for that. The people's form, the octagon. It seems as though um, the majority of MMA fans were more interested in this matchup than the original one, you versus Munoz. Why do you think that is? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I, 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 know, I, I felt that. I felt that a lot. When this fight got changed, you know, the tickets more than doubled. Tickets were, were doing good. They were about 9,800. Boom, this fight got announced, and that week they popped up to almost 18,000. Um, so I felt that. I felt that from the media. I, I, I felt that online. I felt that in, in interviews. Uh, and that's fun. You know, that helps make the sport fun. I, I like it when, uh, you know, I can be part of something that people take an interest in. And I think there's a big interest in the Munoz fight as well. But uh, uh, you're right. I, I, I felt it. People want to see me and Michael fight. Somewhat surprisingly, you've been very cordial towards Mike. You haven't really, quote unquote, trash talk or said anything that has really uh, riled him up. However, on Inside MMA on HGNet on Monday, he had some pretty uh, disparaging things to say about you and your anatomy and, and your history. Uh, did, did that bother you? Do you feel as though that was kind of a low blow? Well, you know, HDNet fights, is that what you said? I, I mean, that, that's such an awful show. I, I, the six people that tuned in to see it because Mark Cuban chooses to fund a losing project so that he has a tax write-off is fine with me. You must be one of those six. Uh, if he said something loud enough that people heard, I'd respond to him. But uh, because I know nobody watches that show, including me, and I'm a huge MMA fan, I'm not going to waste my time. All right, let's. If, if Kenny Rice could tell the truth one time, if Kenny Rice could pretend pretend to be a journalist, pretend to get a fact right. He has 30 minutes. He has to talk eight minutes. Boss Rutten does eight minutes, and then the fighters and commercials take up the, the, the balance. He has never done a show where he gets his facts right. He doesn't care. He goes on, he disparages people, he lies about people, he never checks his facts, he does anything to put out a sound bite, and how he gets hired is beyond me. If I stuck around to, to watch the, the credits for that awful product, I would suspect the producer's last name is also Rice. My guess is his father produces the show, and that's how he got the gig. He sucks at it. So you're more mad you're at them. You're a liar, Kenny Rice. You're a liar about me and a lot of people. You are a liar. What has he said about you that has you so upset? He's a liar. He lies about me. He lied about... I'm not even getting started on the guy. It, I wish he was here right now. I'd show you a workout. All right. Uh, let's talk about the fight. How do you see this one playing out when, when you actually look at it and, and digest it and, and, and sort of break it down? It's a hard fight. You know, these, these fights are all hard fights. I've never had an easy fight in the UFC. You know, I don't go out there and slow my pace if I can or speed my pace up if I have to. I go 100% the entire time. You know, I hear people say, that fighter, that fighter looked tired. Well, you better look tired. If you go out there and you're getting paid to fight, you had better put your energy out there. I will come out of this fight exhausted. I will feel like I got hit by a freight train.
train. That's the feeling I like. I train hard, I work hard, and I fight hard, and I fight for victory. I don't fight to put on a show. I don't fight to feather my nest and give interviews and say things like, I want to go out and bang for the fans. That's stupid, and it's a lie. Kenny Rice would probably say something stupid like that. I go out for victory. I go out because I'm a competitor, and I go out to get my hand raised, and I make no apologies. You guaranteed last week that you will not fight Anderson Silva ever again, but then Dana White told us later that day that he guarantees you will fight Anderson Silva if you win. Are you now relieved that you are going to get a rematch if you win on Saturday night? Why don't we talk about what a liar Kenny Rice Have I made that clear? Because that's a disparaging thing to say about somebody. Somebody called me a liar, I would sue them. And the, unless, of course, I was a liar and I didn't want that to go public. Kenny, you liar. This reminds me of a time you talked to me about a bus or something where you kept going back. To that was something. a weird story, but that really happened. Okay, last thing. A lot of people very disappointed that CM Punk, Chicago Zone, is not going to be walking out with you uh, to the cage on Saturday night. Why did, I guess, Vince McMahon put the kibosh on that? Well, I'm disappointed, too. I was looking forward to that. I think that would have been a lot of fun, especially in, uh, uh, here in Chicago. But, um, you know, Vince, Vince has his reasons, and he, he's very good at his business and his job. And, uh, uh, you know, I understand. What was your reasoning behind bringing him out with you? Well, one, we're friends. Two, I really like him. Three, it's his hometown. Uh, four is a big UFC fan, uh, and five, uh, you know, there's there's major crossover. A number of years ago, I think we all thought we were going to have to compete with each other. That boxing, MMA, and wrestling were going to have to have their own fans. And what we've learned with time is it's not true. We we uh, people are crossover fans and just kind of all around fans. Especially when you're talking about CM Punk here in Chicago, you know, he's uh, that guy's royalty around here. And uh, I think it would have been fun for both of us. But, you know, that, that's the end of it. The walk's only two or three minutes. If we could have done it, great. If we can't, you know, we're going to go have dinner afterwards and catch up. You upset a lot of people when you announced this or when it was reported. When I announced what? That Kenny Rice is a liar and has five people that watch his show, six including you. Right. Will you come out to see him song? That got a lot of people excited, the prospect of that. No, I will not. I will not. But, I, I, you know, I got that idea from a very brilliant man, a good friend of mine. I won't name his name, but somebody that I do hold as, as a co-genius to myself. Uh, and, and I think I probably would have done that. But the, the kibosh got put on CM Punk, which is probably a story that Kenny Rice knows nothing about because he doesn't follow MMA. How are the arms? Arms of steel, brother biggest arms. I'm the man with the biggest arms. I'm the man with the greatest charm. And I'm the man that came to Chicago to do Bisping a lot of harm. Always a pleasure, Chael. Thank you and good luck on Saturday. Take care, brother.